Today's video is going to talk about the top five tips that you can use to improve overnight in Madden 18. What's up guys, my name is Cody and in today's video we're going to give you five critical things that you need to be doing in Madden 18 to make sure your defense is on the right track and you can get more stops, get more turnovers, and ultimately win more games in Madden 18. If this is your first day to the channel, I want to encourage you to introduce yourself in the comments and subscribe. That way we can introduce, or I can introduce myself, we can meet each other, and we can talk some Madden football. All right, so number five on our list, I was thinking a lot about the defense because the defense is going to be a little bit more difficult this year. Everything I've seen, everything I've heard from, from kind of the feel that I've seen in the game, defense is very difficult for a couple of reasons. But the biggest thing, in my opinion, is the way that the zone coverage plays. For, for whatever reason, they decided that um, when, they were at, when they were in EA play, that the zone defenses were too good. And so what they did essentially was they nerfed them. They, they made it to where, um, in my opinion, they actually nerfed them a little bit too much. And now we're in a situation that the offense now has the advantage, which is never good. <laughs> um, and me saying that as a defensive player. Uh, but the other thing that's kind of against the defense this season is the lack of blitz ability from multiple sets. So one thing that will stay true and will always be true in Madden is our number five tip. And that is finding a finding edge pressure. Uh, so find a formation that allows you to give edge pressure. So that could, for, for me, for, for Madden 18, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the 3-4 over will be a good formation to run um, because you can do a couple of different things with sting pinch zone. I like the way the yellows play. It's going to be more about stuff like that as opposed to true pressure formations. You're going to have to kind of generate pressure with looping gaps and things like that, which we'll show you how to do on the channel. Um, but... You, you, you want to, I'm thinking 3-4 over. Another formation a lot of people are going to use is nickel 2-4-5, nickel 3-3. Um, but another another formation I wanted to draw your attention to, if you haven't already thought about it, is the nickel 3-3-5, uh, like the 3-3-5 normal or whatever you call it. That formation is something that I think is going to have a lot of potential in this game to be really good. And the reason is because it's going to utilize some principles I, I taught in Madden 15, and I think that's going to be the way to blitz this year. And basically what it is is it's looping blitzes, looping the blitz angle. So um, so, so test that out. Try out the nickel 3 through 5 if you get a chance. I'm pretty sure that's going to be one of the best defenses in the game. Um, but 3-4 formation as well. Uh, I'm still going to look at 4-3 under. I, that's my favorite defense by far. Uh, we're going to look at it. We're going to see if we can you know, put something together for it. I think we probably can with some of the crossfire blitzes and things like that. But uh, ultimately, our number five tip, what I want to kind of in, in, in put into your brain here is to find one formation that allows you to get pressure off the right side of the line and the left side of the line. And if you blitz six players, you can get two players free at the quarterback. If you can do those three things, you are miles ahead of a lot of people in Madden 18. So you want to look at that and go into practice mode. And that's our number four tip is to spend time in practice mode trying to test out your blitzes before you use them in an online match. Uh, one of the things that I think a lot of people screw up is they don't know things are going to work. This is my biggest, uh, I, I suck at this. I don't know things are always going to work. So then I just kind of get an idea in the middle of a game and I run the play. And let me encourage you, our number four tip, really heed this. Do not run a play that you don't really have uh, experience with in the lab. Don't run a play that you don't have experience with on lab because if you do that, you are going to find that you're going to be in a lot of trouble, and you're not going to be as effective. You're not going to be as good. You're not going to you're not going to get hardly any stops. And what's going to happen is your play might actually have been good. You just didn't have the reps in practice mode to make it great. Okay, so uh, our number three tip, uh, the thing I wanted to share with you for our number three tip is again I always say this, but I really do believe it. As we get a terrible throw off our back foot and sucky because that was a touchdown. Um, number three tip: user the middle linebacker. Uh, and the reason a lot of people are going to say to user the safety this year because of the way the the user plays, uh, you get a little bit better user ability. With the safety, in my opinion, uh, what I would recommend you to do is use the middle linebacker, just like always, because here's what's going to happen, as you see the power of the sting pin zone there. Um, when you use the middle linebacker, it's going to allow you to be involved in the run game, it's going to allow you to be involved in the pass game, and it's also going to allow you to use her pretty much anything on the field, whereas when you're a safety and you have to use her the deep middle, if, the, if there's a deep route, you have to go with it. 
Whereas if you're a middle linebacker, uh, most of the crossing routes, like they're only there for a second and then they're gone. So they don't keep going up the middle is what I'm saying. So you have a little bit more flexibility with your user player, um, in my opinion, with the middle linebacker. So I would suggest using the middle linebacker this season. I've talked about it several times. There are some people that are going to tell you to go ahead and user the, um, the excuse me, the, the safety but I would I would tell I would just give you some some friendly advice here to not do that, and it's really mainly just because of the flexibility you have of, at the middle linebacker to number one be safe and number two be effective. So uh, number two on our list, uh, the number two tip is talking about run defense. And here's the thing: so when you pick a formation, a lot of people will find that like they they try to get in the quarters, they try to get in the dollar, they try to get in all that stuff. I've never seen a like a dollar or a uh, excuse me a dime or any of that stuff. I've never seen that be um, ultimately the way people want to go. Normally, it's three, four, four, three, or nickel. Um, and the reason is, especially in this game, what's going to happen is the way the game plays, the way it works, is it's very difficult to stop the run from a quarter formation. Um, you know, you're going to get pancakes. There's just going to, all sorts of crap's going to happen. And you're not going to be able to stop the run. I'm just telling you right now. Everything I've seen, everything I've watched, everything I've heard, uh, you're not going to be able to stop the run from a dime or, or a quarter set. So what I would recommend is narrowing your focus now. So now you know, okay, I know I need two blitzes, uh, one from the right, run from the left. I know that I want to use her the middle linebacker, okay? The, and then the other, the, the last kind of thing on that list is I now know I need to stay underneath uh, the nickel package. So I don't want to go into dime. I don't want to go into quarters. The only time I would want to use something like that is at the end of a game. Okay. So anyways, that's a, that's a quick tip there. And then the number one tip I believe for defense is, is to play chess with your opponent. And what I mean by playing chess with your opponent is you want to pick your plays. Again, I talked about this in my offensive tip. I'm going to talk about it in my defensive tip your plays should fit together. So you don't just want to run cover three, cover four, cover two, cover two man under and all these things. What you want to do is you want to have um, a finite number of plays that work well together. So if you ever watch my game, uh, like this game right here, I run pretty much two plays. I run stink pitch zone and I run cover two. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, every now and then I'll run man just to kind of mix him up. But I only run two to three plays, and the reason is because when you when you simplify and you and you shrink your playbook down, what it does is it ah oh shoot I hit the wrong button. What it does is it forces your opponent to adapt, and they're going to start expecting okay he's going to run pa like for this like even on offense I'll show you here. So he's going to run pa post. 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 And then the next thing you know I call z spot and I get a dot over the middle because they're not expecting that progression, you know, and that's when you have a, a finite number of plays that work well together. It constantly frustrates your opponent and it keeps them off balance because um, what most people will do is they'll call Z spot or something similar to Z spot from five different formations. And they talk and they say that that's multiplying their playbook. They'll do the same thing in defense. Uh, what a lot of people would, I've seen a lot of people do in Madden over the years is they'll call cover two from three, four. They'll call cover two from four, six. They'll call cover two from nickel normal. And they'll call cover two from quarter normal. And they'll say they're mixing their plays up. And really what that means, translation, most of the time they're not mixing their plays up. They're mixing their formation up. To me, I want to make, and that's why I talked about that in the for, in the beginning, make every play look the same. This is a tip that people have given for years in Madden, and a lot of people don't listen to it. It's one of the most valuable tips I or anyone's going to give you is to make every single play look identical. Because when that happens, your opponent cannot identify what you're doing. It makes you more of a chess player and less of a checkers player. OK, so uh, to recap our top five tips, uh, find one formation um, that allows you to blitz off the left and off the right and off both sides. Our number uh, another tip we had was was to use the middle linebacker because it's going to be safe and effective. Uh, our number four tip was to um, run one set primarily unless you're in the goal line because it's going to make and, and try to make everything look the same 
in that formation, okay? So if you can make everything look the same, it's gonna make it that much more powerful. Um, in my opinion, you, you really wanna do that. Our number two tip was to run something below a nickel. So you don't wanna run a dime or a quarter this year because of the way that the game plays. It's gonna be difficult to stop the run. So go nickel and below. And then our number one tip uh, was, what did we say our number one tip was? Um, I can't even remember. I think uh, I think we talked about finite number of plays that fit together. Yeah, we did. So having a finite number of plays that work well together out of one formation where everything looks the same, in my opinion, in that one sentence, that creates a really solid defense, really solid foundation for a really solid defense. So apply these five tips to your game, and I believe that you will see a dramatic improvement and dramatic success in your defense, even if you only apply it for one night. So try it for a few times. Tell, let me know how it works. And uh, for those of you guys that are new to the channel, real quick, I want to encourage you to um, – if you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. You'll get access to more free content. But leave a comment on this video and let me know how you found my channel and what you would like to know from about Madden 18. Okay, so let me know. That way I can help you guys and we can all get better at the game. Thanks. For